Okay, hello and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are going to learn about Russian numbers and I'm going to show you everything you need to know to count from 1 to 100 in Russian. I really don't want to spend too much time with the intro part, so let's jump right into it. Here you can see the main parts of this video. Section 1 Numbers from 1 to 10 Section 2 Numbers from 11 to 19 Section 3 How to say 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 and 100 in Russian of course Section 4 Numbers from 20 to 100 Section 5 Counting from 1 to 100 Ok so let's see the first section, which is about numbers from 1 to 10. I'd like to point out that these are individual vocabulary items, so I advise you not to look for any internal logic here. Just memorize these words because I'm afraid there is no way around it. I promise and I hope the next part will be easier. So let's see the numbers from 1 to 10. Here we go. Один, два. Три, четыре, пять, шесть, семь, восемь, девять, десять. I strongly advise you to learn these numbers properly, because uh, we are going to use them to form the rest of the numbers. So let's go through them quickly one more time, just to be on the safe side. Here we go. Один. Два, три, четыре, пять, шесть, семь, восемь, девять, десять. All right, good job. So this is the end of section one. Now let's move on to numbers from 11 to 19. But before we do this, if you find this video useful, then please hit that like button under the video and subscribe to my channel. It does help me a lot and I really appreciate your support. Ok, so I've got good news for you because there is actually a rule here we can rely on. All you must remember is to add NAZAJ to the numbers from 1 to 10. What do I have in mind? Let's clarify. So how to say 1 in Russian? If we go back to the previous slide for a second, then we can see that 1 is один. Let's put down this number on the blackboard. There it is. All we need to do now is to add нацать to this number and what we get is одиннадцать, which is 11. It's as simple as that. So how to say 2 in Russian? Again, let's go back to our original table. We can see that 2 is 2 and the logic is the same. We add нацать and what we get is 12, which is almost correct. We need a slight adjustment because we have to change this A sound to an E sound. So instead of 12, we should say 12, 12, 12. Basically, that's it. Just change that A sound to an E sound and you're good. Moving on, how do we say 3? Back to our table, 3 is 3 and following the same logic we add нацать and what we get is 13. It's easy, piece of cake. How do we say 4? It is 4. We add нацать and we get 4 нацать, which is again almost correct. All we need to do is to drop that E sound from the end of the original number. So leave that out and you're good. The correct number is 14. 14. 14. One more time. What have we done here? We dropped the last letter from the original number and this is exactly the logic we should follow until number 19. So let's go back to our original table again for a second. How do we say 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9? 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All you need to do is to drop those soft signs from the end and add 19 and you're good. So let's put down these numbers on the blackboard without the soft signs. Here we go. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There we go. It sounds a bit weird, but anyway, this is the stem we need. Uh, now let's add 19. And what we have now is 5 plus 19 is 15. 6 plus 19 is 16. 7 plus 19 is 17. 8 plus 19 is 18. 9 plus 19 is 19. So we have 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, which is 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So what do we know so far? We know the numbers from 1 to 10. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Remember, these are individual lexical items. Don't look for any internal logic, just learn them. And we also know the numbers from 11 to 19, which is um, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Remember, here we've got a rule. Um, we must add nacek to the original numbers and make slight adjustments. 11 is easy. Besides adding nacek, we've got nothing to do. In number 12, we have to change the A sound to an E sound. Number 13 is again a piece of cake. Nothing to do besides adding nacek. And in the rest of the cases, we should remove the last sound from the original numbers. It's not rocket science, is it? Okay, um, so let's move on to the third part of the video. This section is about the numbers 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. I think it's a good idea to create four groups. Group number one is 20 and 30. Group number two is 40. Group number 3 is 50, 60, 70, and 80. Group number 4 is 90 and 100. Okay, so let's see group number 1. The logic behind 20 and 30 is similar to the one we saw in the previous part. We have to add something to the numbers 2 and 3. But instead of nacek, we add the tzach. This is something rather difficult to pronounce in isolation, but it becomes a lot easier when we actually attach it to the numbers. So 2 is 2, and we attach the tzach, and we get 20, which is 20. Similarly, 3 is 3, we attach the tzach, and what we get is 3 tzach, which is 30. Group number two. The number 40 is again an independent lexical item, so you just learn it. Number 40 is Sorak. Group number three. Okay, so again, I've got good news for you because the formation of the numbers 50, 60, 70, and 80 is, I believe, fairly simple. Let's see the logic. So to form 50, we need 5 and 10. So how do we say 5 and 10 in Russian? That's correct. 5 and 10. To form 60, we need 6 and 10. So how do we say 6 and 10 in Russian? That is correct again. 6 
and Yesik. To form 70, we need 7 and 10. It's uh, Sim and Yesik. And to form 80, we need 8 and 10. It is Vosim and Yesik. Now I hope you remember that we dropped the last sound from the original number to form numbers from 11 to 19. We have to do something similar here. We shouldn't drop the last letter of the original number, but the last letter from the number 10. This way we get 50, 60, 70 and 80, which is 50, 60, 70 and 80. Group number 4. Let's jump to 100 for a second, which is again an individual vocabulary item. So just learn it. And 100 is 100. And to form 90, we need the number 9, which is 9. This is the stem we are going to work with. So 90 comes before 100, which means we need 102 in this number. Uh, so from Givic and Sto, we form the word Givinosta, which is 90. Now let's move on to the fourth section of the video. In this part, we are going to talk about numbers between 20 and 100. We already know the numbers from 1 to 10, from 11 to 19, and the tens until 100. As you can see, until 20, there are individual words that express numbers. But what if we want to form numbers above 20? Well, our life becomes a lot easier above 20, because all we need to do is to put together the tens and the ones. For example, if you want to say 21, you just put together 20 and 1, and you get 21, which is 21. If you want to say 32, all you need to do is to put together 30 and 2, and you get 32, which is 32. Similarly, 43 becomes 43, 54 becomes 54, 65 becomes 65, 76 becomes 76, 87 becomes 87, 98 becomes 98, etc, etc. Here you have some other numbers between 20 and 100. I'd like to ask you to stop the video for some time and try to figure out how to say these numbers in Russian. I hope you have managed to come up with your solution. Now let's check it together. 27 is 27. 35 is 35. 48 is 48, 54 is 54, 67 is 67, 79 is 79, 81 is 81, and 92 is 92. Okay. Good job. Alright guys, let's move on to the last part of the video. I'm going to count from 1 to 100, but before we do this, if you find this video useful, then please hit that like button under the video and subscribe to my channel. It does help me a lot and I really really appreciate your support. So there is one last thing to remember here. The red letters mark the stressed syllables. Okay, so without any further ado, here we go. Один, два, три, четыре, пять, шесть, семь, восемь, девять, десять, одиннадцать, двенадцать, тринадцать, четырнадцать, пятнадцать, шестнадцать. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 
Okay, um, this is the end of this lesson. I really hope you have found this video and this lesson useful. Please let me know in the comment section below the kind of Russian language content you are interested in. I'm really looking forward to reading your messages. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.